I'm Kimor Malavanis, I'm a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and I'm also the director of the Unmanned Systems Lab. The lab was created about five years ago. Our research focuses on unmanned ground systems and unmanned aerial systems. Our research projects span wide areas and they focus on navigation controllers, on integrated control and diagnostics, on building sense and avoid and see and avoid systems for unmanned rotocraft, and also building a platform on which helicopters will land, refuel, recharge, and uh, deposit data. Hello, my name is Matt Rutherford. I'm a professor in the Department of Computer Science and the Deputy Director uh, of the Unmanned Systems Lab. Uh, what we like to do in the lab uh, is take systems like the ones you see behind me uh, that are a combination of mechanical, electrical, and software and uh, use them to study different aspects of autonomous uh, system behavior. Uh, for example, uh, here is one of our miniature helicopters. Uh, what we would do is uh, put a controller board on this uh, and use sensors that would also be mounted on board this vehicle uh, and use this to fly uh, by itself using GPS or some other system for navigation uh, and then to do other applications uh, that people are interested in, uh, civilian and military. Hi, my name is Daniele Sartori and I'm an international PhD student from Italy. I'm here at the uh, DU Unmanned System Lab in order to develop some advanced controller for unmanned aircraft. In particular, I developed a best stepping controller for X-wing aircrafts. What I did is to design the controller on a model of the aircraft, run some simulation, and I implement the controller on an XMOS board. What I'm going to do next is to do some flight tests in order to develop the controller. Hi, my name is Gonzalo Martins. I'm a PhD student. My area of research is swarms, focus on communication systems, communication protocols between um, unmanned systems. Here you have a test bed with different nodes transmitting uh, simultaneously without any synchronism. This is relevant um, to enable communication between a group of vehicles. Hi, my name is Kostas Kainstas. My area of research is focusing on uh, increasing the lift on, in uh, fixed-wing unmanned aircrafts. In order to implement that, I need to design first the wings in SOLIDWORKS and then cut them um, in different shapes and test them in a wind tunnel. In order to do that, I'm designing a foam cutter, which is a machine that cuts the foam in different shapes. So the idea is to cut, the foam in, uh, to cut the wings in different shapes and test them in a wind tunnel in order to see if we can increase the lift by blowing air through the trailing edge of the wing. Hi, my name is Alistair Moses. I am a PhD student here at the University of Denver. I'm holding an example of the type of work we do here in the Mechatronics Systems Engineering Program. Here is my thesis work. It is a miniature radar system going on board vehicles of around this scale. Now the goal of this work is to enable integration of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace. But to do this, these aircraft have to be intelligent enough to avoid collisions with other unmanned aircraft, manned aircraft, and terrain, in addition to other infrastructure. So this radar system provides the aircraft with the information it needs to do that. We collaborate with other universities, and our collaborators are the California State University Los Angeles, University of Texas at Arlington, Georgia Tech, Technical University of Crete, and the University of Zagreb. Our funding comes from several sources like the National Science Foundation, the Department of Defense, companies, the private sector, and the state. Recently, we entered in an agreement with the Front Range Airport, and several of our operations will move to the Front Range Airport because they have the facilities and the space for us to do our experimental work and testing.